time for a veggie garden tour. Starting in this corner of the raised bed, I have some dill that's flowering. I've got green beans. These are bush beans. They are just loaded, loaded up. I'm gonna be eating beans for a couple of months. In the center, there are shallots. This row up the middle. I've got carrots, a couple different varieties here on the end. And then strawberries that I let run wild. There's a little galvanized tub in here where they started, but last year I just kind of let them root in wherever. Those are ever bearing, so they keep producing strawberries all summer. I've got a little container with some angelonia and some zinnias. The zinnias I started from seed. And then this is the garlic. This is almost ready. There are actually a few that I could harvest out of here. And then I'll let a few go a little bit long so that I can use plant them in the fall. Um, I've got two lettuce that are basically bolted, although they don't really get bitter, not too bitter, so I'll still eat them. And then plant some more. I have some ginger down here, and you can see little, little lettuce seedlings that I started a few weeks ago and got planted for succession. There's one, a couple of them in there. I've got some chives. There's a patch of sedum that just kind of planted itself there. This is a Purple Prince Alternanthera. Not veggies, but just pretty. That I grow from seed. I've got tarragon and basil. And there's some catnip there. I harvest that for my friends. But also it's supposedly a um, bug deterrent. I forget what for. And then I have dill kind of coming up everywhere that just seeds itself from what I grow every year. I've gotten a couple zucchinis off of here. I see a lot of male flowers, but not any female flowers, so I don't know when I'll get another zucchini. And I have Brigart and sage and some rosemary here. The cucumbers are starting to work their way up, and there are some little ones in there. This is honey nut squash, which is a dwarf butternut variety. It seems to be doing well. This is the last time I'm going to try it because I haven't had good harvests before now. So if it doesn't work, then I'll stop growing it. I've got a gypsy pepper there planted with a petunia. This had more, but a branch broke off in the rainstorm that we got, but that's fine. Over here on this side, I have shallots in the grow bags, and you can see them really starting to bulb up down there. I grew three different varieties. I love shallots. They store all winter, so. Um, more garlic in this grow bag that I need to harvest soon as well. And then I have three peppers. This one is candy apple. They all turn red eventually. They're getting pretty big though. And I like to plant marigolds in there just for color because they're pretty. Candy apple, I think this one is either Wisconsin Lakes or King of the North. They are bred, both of those varieties, that one's King of the North. They're bred in Wisconsin for short growing seasons, so you get a little bit earlier harvest. This one is Chinese Giant. I grew that last year too, but I barely got any red peppers off of it, although they were really good green. But I think they just take longer to mature. This is a potato. Just a little bumble visiting flower. I haven't had good luck with potatoes in grow bags, I think, because they dry out too fast, but this one is doing pretty good. And on this side, I have another potato there, same variety. Forget the name of it, also bred in Wisconsin. Maybe that's why I'm having good luck. I've got more shallots. They're all kind of mixed. I grew matador, conservador, and innovator. And then more peppers. I have what variety is what, but there's King of the North and Wisconsin Lakes in here as well. And more marigolds, just for some pretty color. I have two tomatoes in the corner. This one is Russian, orange Russian, kind of a beef steak that stays heart-shaped. And then this is Better Boy. See, I have some that are ripening back there in the corner. I've got a red cabbage planted here. I had lettuce, you can see where I harvested that, so 
get some more pea pods. It's our sugar snap peas. I've also harvested a bunch of those, so I'm gonna make stir fry this weekend with that. And then back in the corner, I planted some gomfrina that I grew from seed. I've got a purple one, pink one, and then little teeny purple ones kind of back there behind. We'll see how those do, but you know, I just had extra seeds and I guess it fills the spaces. And then there's a little white one kind of hiding back here too behind the compost. Compost bins, I've got bags of shredded leaves to use as mulch. Oh boy, I need to harvest the beans. You can see there are tons of them ready in there. A bunch of them hanging down. They're really good. Really good beans. I want to say it's Blue Lake 242 or something like that, bush bean. I don't remember if I said that already. And then a little bag of shallots. So they were kind of extras, so they're staying small. But they were in too much shade, so I moved them over here to be in the sun. These might be ready kind of early. When the necks get soft and squishy and the top kind of flops over, that's when you know they're ready to harvest. They're not really going to grow anymore, and they'll just start rotting if you leave them in the ground. Same with onions. And then I've got this bag of garlic here, too, that these are going to be pretty tiny. I could harvest those soon. I just experimented. I kind of grew it everywhere. And I saw what would overwinter. So this stayed out here all winter. And then my sunflower dahlias. Another little glimpse of this area here. I do, since the last tour, I do have some dahlia blooms that I can start cutting. Yay. And the zinnias have opened up back there as well. And the cosmos, boy, they're getting big. Oh, I see some buds. So they're going to open. This daily li lily is really neat. It's kind of like a rusty orange color. That variety is called Mighty Chestnut. Don't see too many that color. Yeah, so that's the veggie garden tour and just lovely dead grass. And here's the pollinator garden. I just have to show you these because they're looking so pretty. Oh, there's a chip. South Seas is this daylily. I couldn't remember the name before, but it's called South Seas. And then that echinacea is so beautiful. I love the pink and orange mixed. That's all the same plant. I have a couple of them in there. All the same. And the snapdragons are just so pretty and cheerful too. Back in here. Yep, so pollinator garden. Oh, and I have an ornamental cabbage down there. Those are super easy to grow from seed and just kind of tuck in either containers or the ground. So that's the veggie garden for 2023.